Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' Cracking. It's today about to react to celebrities reacting to the Mike Tyson fight, and apparently the game goes off on Shannon Sharp um, for for bashing Mike. People have been bashing Mike. I would think they would bash Jake. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, let, let's see what what these celebrities have to say. Let's watch. Despite the thirty-one-year-old age gap, which is the largest in any sanctioned boxing event, Jake Paul accomplished the goal of every twelve-year-old kid for the last thirty years: win a fight against Mike Tyson. And the world will react to it. Some people felt like Mike Tyson was set up, while others felt like they were just happy to see him in the ring and leave in one piece. And also fighters will react as if they would like some revenge for Mike Tyson. Oh. What's up, y'all? Is your man Talkers World Report for the Chicks Move channel? We gotta talk about this. If you were older than 50 years old, even if you were the baddest man on the planet at one point, how much would it take to get you back in the ring to get punched in the face for a couple more rounds one last time? The event was held at the AT&T Stadium where the Cowboys play that holds around 80,000 people. This event brought out 72,000, which is not counting everybody who watched it online. According to Bleacher Report, the official purse has not been officially disclosed, but Paul said in an August pre-fight press conference that he was, quote, here to make $40 million and knock out a legend, per Damon Martin of MMA Fighting. And they will continue, it's not clear how much Tyson is making, but the $20 million figure has been floated around. Quote, oh, boxing industry experts have estimated Tyson could make somewhere in the range of $20 million at various times so since know. the event was announced last March. Because y'all yeah, heard he got 20 mil and Jay got 40. And I'm like, what the fuck? That don't seem fair at all. I don't like that. But I guess people are guessing. We don't really know. So Jake is making somewhere around 40 million and Tyson is probably making somewhere around 20. Probably. At almost 60. Is that worth it? I think so. But Meek Mill will post on Twitter, oh, they said hunk up. And other people could barely even watch the fight, as Shannon Sharp would say. Mine might be willing, but Tyson's body just isn't able. It's sad watching this. Oh. And then Magic Johnson would agree with that sentiment, saying, just sad, shaking my head. I cut it off because I couldn't watch anymore. It's sad to see Mike Tyson like this because I went to every Tyson fight. This fight tonight was not great for boxing. Do you think exhibition... What do y'all mean? Sad to see him like what? What... He's he's old. He's a senior citizen. I, wh what do y'all expect from him? Y'all act like, oh, well, I don't know. I don't know what was what it looks like. I need to watch another video about it. Jamar put up a video. I'm gonna watch that next. <laughs> Maybe he'll he'll shed more light and he'll he'll show clips. Cause what's so sad? Of course he's gonna be slow. He old. Matches are good for the sport. Let me know in the comment section which Stephen A. Smith would agree with because it seems like. He's tired of seeing Jake Paul beat on either washed up old fighters uh, or people who were never boxers to begin sense. with. Saying, love Mike Tyson. Always well, y'all need to send that hate towards Jake then and his team and his people or the system or whatever the case. Uh, racism. Whatever you want to <laughs> direct it at. But I don't like the, the narrative that, oh, this is so sad seeing Mike like this and y'all trying to direct that kind of towards him. Like, I would do it for 20 mil too and so would you. Okay, that's a lot of money. Always will, but 58 is 58. Plus the legs just wasn't there. Old is old. Thank God he didn't get knocked out. Now it's time for Jake Paul to get in the ring with a top 10 fighter. Period. Or hell, a champion. That. No more b-ball players, strikers Five. from MMA, or old men. Five. It's time for Jake to get into a real fight. He's good enough. Make it happen. Exactly. On one hand, people are tired that's of the problem. exhibition matches. But on the other hand, Stephen A. Smith now thinks Jake Paul has earned a champion bout. Is Jake Paul skipping the line of every amateur fighter in the world? Yes. Is that a good thing? That's up to you. Let me know in the comment section. And of course, not only sports writers and musicians and basketball players have something to say about this, but boxers will also feel a way about what happened last night. As Terrence Crawford would tweet, I love Mike Tyson. But they giving him too much credit. He looked like trash. Man, he, oh. To train that long and only throw 97 punches the whole fight is crazy. I'm just glad he didn't get hurt out there. That's Francis Ngannou hard. would give his reply saying, next time I see this Jake Paul guy, I'm yes, going to give him two or that's three what slaps. We need. Out of the box. Send it towards say, Jake. Send the hate <laughs> towards Jake. You don't need to, to disrespect Mike. Oh, he looked terrible. He looked trash. He is almost 60 years old. Hello? Can your grandpa do that? No. No. He'd get pushed down in the first couple seconds. So stop it. All right? 
It seems like okay. Javante Tank Davis is taking this loss the most personal. As he will make a couple story posts, like this one saying, to the bozo that shared the ring with Mike, you were yeah. old bozo for this. Yeah. And you didn't get the job done. He will post pictures of old Mike Tyson. Yeah. He will continue to post old pictures of Mike Tyson saying, you will forever be a legend, whether you like it or not. And there will never be another one. And I understand you so well. All this don't mean nothing. And then a final message to Jake Paul, which was deleted. One more thing. I'm going to beat the brakes off Jake when I catch him. Period. Uppercut, jab, jab, left hook. Yeah, uppercut, fight him. Hook. Hello? Watch. He just broke down his exact combo that he's going to use on Not Jake Paul. Exact. But Jake Paul is 6'1", 230, while Tank Davis is 5'5", oh. 140. Oh Almost an 80-pound difference. There's weight classes for a reason. Yeah, Maybe right. we should leave the revenge talk to the heavyweights. Because being half Where the Where is the nigga who says, uh... To this day, where he at? Guys, it, it's yeah, not gonna be at? a good look, no matter how great Tank has been. Weight classes he, he are a real tall. thing. 80 pounds is a huge difference. Do you think Jake Paul has shit. done enough to take on real boxers in real sanctioned fights that actually mean something? I think he should. It's like pick on someone your own size type shit. You know, why, why are you fighting old people and Nate Robinson? Your fight, this don't make no sense. This is stupid. Okay, now this is the game calling out Shannon. Hey, man, they got us, you guys. We got bamboozled. We got food. They took us for a ride. And if any of you guys, including myself, ever pay for another Jake Paul fight, you should be ashamed of yourself. Now, the Jake Paul and Mike Tyson fight was last night on Netflix. If you guys missed it, surprise, surprise, Jake Paul won against somebody's <laughs> grandfather. Now, even going into this fight, you kind of knew what was going to be the outcome. Despite all the Mike Tyson training videos where he looks like he's 28 again, nobody truly believed yeah. Mike Tyson was going to beat Jake Paul. I mean, I, I think it probably was rigged. I think he probably took it easy on him, even though I didn't see it, to be honest. But I'm sure I speak for many people when I say all we wanted was just a little bit of fight from Mike Tyson. Yes, we know you can't move as well. You don't really have the stamina, punching power, but we just wanted to see some effort. After eight rounds of boxing, Mike Tyson only threw 97 punches. Yes, that's correct. Just 97. We watched Mike Tyson basically sell one of the L's on his record for $20 million. But it's more than that. If you actually grew up watching Mike Tyson, last night was a very disgusting night for you. The legend and hero that you watched growing up as Iron Mike Tyson is now reduced to a social media gimmick. And who can we blame for all of this? Do we blame Floyd Mayweather for basically starting all this fake social media boxing? Or do we just blame it on poor money management? Maybe Mike Tyson needed that money last night. Who knows? Shannon yeah. Sharp tweeted last night saying, Mike might be willing, but Tyson's body just isn't able. It's sad watching this. Even Magic Johnson was disgusted watching yeah, yeah, this. We just saw that. Night was it, not um, great for boxers the game. This was sad, disgusting. Y'all goofy. Everybody was calling out Mike Tyson was the game. The game said, I see all these weird celebrity niggas saying Mike looked bad. This was sad, disgusting, y'all goofy. Okay. I saw a 58-year-old legend go eight rounds with a 27-year-old in front of the world in a sold-out football stadium and walk away with $20 million, Speak on his it. dignity, and yet another achievement he said was only for him. I'm proud of you, champ. Exactly. The game then goes on and comments and says, Mike Tyson, you were my hero as a child and nothing has changed since then for me. Thank you for your contribution to the culture then and now. Now listen, I get it. If you're the game, okay. this is your childhood hero. No matter what, you don't want to see him or paint him in a bad light. But at a certain point, you have to be real and call it what it is. Tyson might have walked away with the money, but unfortunately, he left his dignity inside of that ring last night. He don't give a fuck. He's, he want that 20 million. Y'all saw the, the clip about what he said about legacy when he was talking to that little girl. And I agree with that 1,000% because I, I guess some people are trying to imply, oh, he kind of ruined his legacy. He don't give a fuck. He, when he's gone, he's gone. He don't care. That 20 million going to be spent. He's going to be gone. He don't care about that. And I agree with that 1,000%. 1,000%. Fuck out of here with this legacy stupid shit. Give me my money. I'm done with boxing. I'm not about to be in the ring. I don't need to have this macho, you know, reputation and, and I, that y'all want me to have. That's what y'all want. I want this 20 million and I'm going to go in the ring 
do what I got to do. If y'all want to say, you know, he sold out or whatever, listen, whatever. Give me my 20 million. And honestly, I I do think it looks bad for boxing overall as far as the people who enjoy it. I can get how it could be annoying. But to direct that energy to my, uh, Mike Tyson specifically, that's where I disagree. I disagree with that. If you want to be annoyed, be mad at the, the game, okay? Like they say, hate the player. <laughs> or hate the... Hate the what? Hate the play and not the game. Oh, I'm saying that. Mm, okay, that's not the bar I'm saying to you. Because <laughs> I think you should hate the game and not the play. <laughs> or is that the saying? Hate the game, not the player. Is that what is this? What is the saying? Y'all know what old school saying I'm, I'm talking about. Okay, my mama used to say that, <laughs> but I might be saying it wrong. Anyway, the point is, be mad at the system. Be mad at. You know, the Jake Pauls of the world, the, the social media people who coming in, flooding, boxing, and fucking it up. But why y'all mad at Mike? Like, he, he got his money and did. I don't, I don't understand. So, I agree with the game 1,000%. And, and nobody can take his uh, his accomplishments away from him. This doesn't change anything. This doesn't change anything that he's done in, in any of the fights that he's won in the past. But he's fucking 60 years old. He's an old man now. He's, he's retired. He wants some more money before he dip up out of here. And 20 million is a lot. So, yeah, if, if this if that's selling out, I'll take that type of sellout. It's some sometimes you sell out in a way to where it's like, okay, this is despicable. This is just embarrassing. I don't think this is one of those sellouts, to be honest, if you want to call it that. This is a real real light sellout, if you ask me. This is a, a selling out that I would personally do if I was him. If we being real. But once again, I didn't see this fight. <laughs> so I don't know how bad it was. So let me just shut up. If you guys go look at Tyson's I'm, I'm record, you video. see all the greats and legends he fought, and then you see him so, taking out to social media slash YouTuber so Jake Paul. 60. And that record, and also Jake Paul's name, will forever be a part of my Y'all care more than legacy. he cares. And if that legacy. wasn't enough, hello, did y'all watch the interview? He don't care about no fucking legacy. He don't care. He gonna be dead. Who cares? Jake Paul's name will forever be a part of Mike's history and legacy. And if that wasn't enough, Mike even called out Jake Paul's brother last night. This is Mike's uh, Twitter? Logan Paul. Wow. Oh. I think he said you might be next. Motherfucker, I'll kill you, Mike. No, oh, please, no, no, no. So you guys tell Wait, me, what? does this look like somebody that still has their dignity? And you can still love Mike Tyson, you, you can still it. hold him in the highest of regards, but you had to keep it real. This was a very bad look for him and for boxing in general. I agree about boxing, but not for Mike. I don't care what y'all talking about. I, I, I think it's lame to be mad at Mike specifically. I agree with, with the game. I don't understand why people are directing the hate towards Tyson, directed towards Jake, okay? Say it again. Send him the hate. He's the problem. <laughs> he He's the social media influencer who came in and infiltrated the boxing world. When he don't need to be there, he's doing his stupid shit. Fighting senior citizens. That's dumb. All right? But anyway, that, that's my opinion about it. I'll have to watch this Jamar video. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!